Hello everybody. So this is a requested video. This time the comment is could you do a reading on Tom Stair? He has entered the Democrat race and is trying to get enough donations to make it into debates for the 12th and 13th of September. He's been trying to get the White House squad impeached for the last two years. The astrologer here on YouTube, Robert Cosmer, did a chart reading on Tom Steyer and says that he could, could be the one person who could give the knockout punch to Trump in a debate. Uh, I think he could be very important to us in the elections. Alright, so let's do a reading on Tom Steyer. Um, first, let's see generally what's going on with him at this present moment. Okay, Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing in this spread here um, this Ten of Cups. I can see this could be like the Democratic Party, like a group, the collective. He's feeling a lot of pressure. He's feeling like he, it's a lot for him. It's like a big responsibility. Also, he's like really low in the polls, maybe because his name is not recognized. Um, and also, he said that he's taking on the corporations. He doesn't want them to run the government. So he may have enemies. I mean, for sure he has enemies in, who wants to keep that system in place. So I see speech against him. There are certain people that speak against him. Um, but I do see him here, like a older woman, a queen of pentacles supporting him. And this two of pentacles, financial stability. So it's like he can handle this financially. Um, because he's, I think, billionaire or something, something like this. So generally, at this present moment, it's like a monumental task for him to, to win this. Uh, even if he has money, it's gonna be hard, because uh, I think there were also in the past candidates who were really rich but didn't. I think Ford or something they didn't make it. Um, so just having money does not guarantee success uh, in presidential elections. So he's up against this, like people who who could be speaking against him. But let's see. I want to have more details about him and specifically the Democrats. Let's see how was the dynamic there. This is him, this is the Democratic Party. Him, the magician, the emperor, disappointment with, yeah, there's like a big disappointment when it comes to certain Democrats. He does have power and wealth. He's like, a, he feels in a position of power, both with the emperor and the magician. But huge disappointment here the Tower and the Three of Swords. Let's see the Democrats. Um, Ace of Wands, again, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. 
yeah, the Democrats are like, they want to desperately win this one. I mean, everyone wants, but it's like this, this idea, we have to win this one. Let's get a candidate that can beat Trump or something like this, this winning. But it's like short terms, like the de desperate need to win at all costs. Well, this man, like, he comes with the vision, or, like a big change of the... Uh, government and corporations how the system goes and also uh, the climate change he's focused on that um, well the Democrats here is like more like the their energy is like we have to win we have to win this this is like a restrictive maybe no, uh, unwillingness to change certain things here with the four of Pentacles the center is like not wanting to lose some holding tight to something. Um, the Ace of Wands is like they do have certain power, but it's like not enough. It's limited power because it's like the Ace, it's just at the beginning. And with Two of Wands here, kind of the things are kind of the crossroads decision need to be made. Um, maybe they, they should loosen up. <laughs> on certain things and so, the six of wands is like victory but sometimes this is about short term you know it's like you win a battle you don't win the war it, it's short term successes maybe that they need to have a bigger perspective on things um, you know like um, they're so focused on winning that they, they're not gonna impeach Trump they're, and they're ignoring what should what they should morally do like from an ethical and moral perspective they're not doing that because they just want to win desperately so and they need to loosen up they need to have like a bigger vision like this man has tom steyer they need to get out of this space so yeah he's uh, he's disappointed with them with the democrats and the democrats are a little bit like short-sighted and desperate to win this one but ignoring other aspects that may be more important than this okay now let's see let's see what are his chances against the the democrats so that if he can win the primaries i think they're called So this is Tom Steyer, Steyer and this is the, um, the Democrats. Yeah, the Democrats. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, whoa. I'm not sure, guys. Bit like betrayal, defeat. Let's see the Democrats. Competition. It's like harsh competition. Looks like I'm not sure if he has that good chances. The Democrats here with a like ag aggressive, kind of aggressively competing against each other but they're still it's still not sure who will go further there's like a blockage here a two of, of swords um, and with the three of wands here moving further maybe even change of plans so it's like a lot of tension aggression and like aggressive competition <laughs> for the Democrats and for him I'm not sure if he's gonna make it. I mean, he has the money, but as I said, it, it may not be enough. It's too bad. Um, it may not be enough. It's betrayal and the, the sense of disappointment with certain Democrats probably also. So I'm not sure if he has a, a chance, but let's see. Let's do one more. Let's try and see if 
let's push it. <laughs> let's assume if he wins the democratic um, race, then if he runs against Trump, who has a better chance to win? It's not that accurate to make uh, readings on assumptions, but <laughs> let's try. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, the Magician. This is for Tom. The Ten of Cups and Justice. Oh, looks good. Trump, the Seven of Cups. Trump often gets this card. Of course, he's delusional and not lunatic. The Hermit, Isolation. Compromise, he's trying to make compromise. It's not good for Trump, so definitely, oops, you know, you know, if it comes down to this guy and Trump, this guy wins it's with this will of fortune, like a big change. The magician, this is him, power with the power to create a new vision, new things. Here, justice bringing justice, and he's like he's motivated by by the sense of justice he's also an activist and trump has the reasons to worry here like isolated delusional um maybe in his delusion he actually thinks that <laughs> he has a good chance to win because of his narcissism he sees himself as this like big victor he's trying to make compromises with people but it's not going off good for trump so if it comes down to the two of them, this guy seems like he has a good chance. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do some more readings later about this guy. Let's see how he does in the race. Um, so this is it for now. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your suggestions and your support. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.